Good morning, everybody. Um, apologies for the technical difficulties in the webinar. Um, and I understand that my screen went blank when I was trying to demonstrate to you how Tim managed to combine audio with his PowerPoint slides and then turn them into a video. So um, I'm just going to uh, refilm that part of the webinar uh, now. So uh, here I have uh, an old PowerPoint that I've got about the Battle of Hastings, which I would use when I wasn't distance learning to uh, deliver to the people. So what I'm finding now distance learning, I can't really use it um, because I need to talk through it. It's not all self-explanatory. But uh, by recording audio over the top of the PowerPoint slide, I can now use it. So this is how we do it. So I have, I have a PowerPoint slide here. I've clicked on the first slide um, here. Um, and along the top, I have all these uh, these different tabs here. Now, your version of PowerPoint might look slightly different to this. So if you're using Office 365 PowerPoint, it will look slightly slicker than this. If you're uh, using an earlier version of PowerPoint, it will look different. But uh, no matter which version you're using, you should still be able to, um, to do this. So you'll have a tab called Slideshow. So if you click on that tab, and then you have these uh, these options here. And one of the options is record slideshow. So you need to click on that, and then uh, this dialog box will come up. Now make sure you have these two boxes ticked. So one of them is slide and animation timing. So this will record how long you're spending on each slide. So when you click, it moves on to the next slide, and when you do the playback, it keeps the same timings. And then the second box is narration, ink, laser pointer, so uh, it will record your speech, or if you draw on the slides, um, then it will record those as well. And when I click start recording, it will start recording. So I'll just do a little, a little quick demonstration, so uh, start recording. Good morning, Year 7. Welcome to the most exciting lesson of the year about the Battle of Hastings in 1066. We're going to look today at why William, Duke of Normandy, won this battle. So let's see how the two sides lined up. William, William, Harold Godwinson is the pressure. Harold Godwinson um, had two types of soldiers in his Saxon army. He had the housecarls, who were well-trained professional soldiers. Uh, they were skillful axemen. In fact, at one point during the battle, one of the housecarls managed to strike the head off a horse in one foul swoop. He also had the feared, who were effectively peasant farmers who were called up to fight for him in times of danger. But they weren't trained at all. And they were up against the Norman army. Uh, Duke, the, William Duke of Normandy had spearmen, horsemen, cavalry, archers, and they were all highly trained, full-time professional soldiers. Now, when I reach the last slide, then, it all saved automatically. OK, so it's now in the system. So the, that audio sits at the moment within the PowerPoint presentation. So if I save the PowerPoint presentation and shared the PowerPoint presentation with my pupils, they would still be able to hear the audio. So if I click play from the beginning now. Good morning, Year 7. Welcome to the most exciting lesson of the year about the Battle of Hastings in 1066. So if I skip the William, slide. William. Harold Godwinson is the pressure. Harold Godwinson. Uh, the audio skips um, had two times. So there we are. So, so that's one way that you could simply share that with the pupils if you're a bit worried about using a YouTube channel. But uh, if you do want to now turn this into a video, just a as Tim did, and, and share it as a video file, then if you go to File on the left-hand corner here, and you go down to where it says Export, then it gives you uh, various options. But we want to create a video. So if you click to Create a Video, and then we have here um, the presentation quality. So the higher the um, size of the presentation quality, the, the larger the file will be. Will be. So I, I want this to be quite low quality, um, just just for, for, so it doesn't clog up my laptop too much. Now this uh, section here, do not worry about uh, because the timings um, have been automatically placed into um, your your slideshow, so, so don't change this figure at all. And then all you do is simply uh, click on Create Video. And uh, it, it'll ask you where you want it to be saved. So um, I would like to save this into videos there. 
and uh, and I'm going to click save. We'll see down the bottom here. Um, it's saving as MP4 file. This is the the most commonly uh, shared video file, and it takes a while. If you've set to the bigger file side, this might take you know uh, five ten minutes uh, to convert into a video file. Um, so you can see there that it is it is crunching it down. Good. So now if I go to uh, my videos here, we'll see here that here's my video. And so if I double click on that and play it. Good morning, Year 7. Welcome to the most exciting lesson of the year about the Battle of Hastings in 1066. And there we are. And just as I showed you yesterday, you can now upload that video file onto your YouTube channel uh, and share it with the pupils. So uh, I hope that's of use. Um, please do get in touch with me. Uh, via my email, jstanya at gts.devon.sch.uk or get in contact with me uh, on Twitter at johnstaniel1 um, if you want any more guidance or support with this. Thank you very much.